we are here for our Sunday school this morning, but before we start, let's pray. In Jesus' name, Father, we worship and magnify your holy name. We thank you because you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are the ancients of days, the lily of the valley, the bright and the morning star. Thank you, Jesus, for making it possible for us to gather once again in your presence. We worship and adore your holy name. We pray that this day shall be a blessing to every one of us in the name of Jesus. We pray that you bless every family represented here and online, wherever they are joining us from across the world. Lord, we ask this morning that your blessing will look at them. In the name of Jesus Christ, even as we study your word this morning, Father, we ask that you speak to us. In the name of Jesus, let your name alone be glorified. For in Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. And amen. For those of you that were around last week for our Sunday school, uh, it was a review week, and uh, we went through uh, a lot, you know, as uh, Pastor Andrea did. And it will have been time to recap some of those things this morning. But because of the limited nature of our time, we will not go back to the first quarter review that we had last week. By the way, Pastor Andrea did justice to that, so I believe that we can still go back and watch uh, the video that is online. And you can also revise it from your lesson as well. If you don't have, try to get one. I think the pastor has have uh, copies for you. And you can also go uh, to the uh, Goshen App Store and then buy one for yourself if you fancy the digital copy. And the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. So today's topic is emotional intelligence. Hallelujah. We'll be deliberating on emotional intelligence. This is a uh, I mean, a very popular topic, an important one as well. It is found everywhere. It's not just, you know, in Christianity. Even in the secular world, in public offices, they talk a lot about emotional intelligence. And if you have in emotional intelligence, you are a kind of class above orders be because you know, that means you can tolerate a lot of people. You can, there's much that you can do with handling your emotions as the topic is emotional intelligence so it's, it's it, you you are able to handle your emotions very well because we all have emotions at one point or the other things can go wrong but how you react to those emotions are really crucial so that is what we'll be discussing this morning and uh, the lord will help us in jesus name uh, before we start i want us to first of all read the text for the day so that we can uh based our discussion on that. Actually, we have a lot, and I wish there was time that we can take to go through this lesson, but nevertheless, God will still accomplish what he wants to do this morning in Jesus' name. Uh, from the book of Galatians, chapter 5, we'll be reading from verse 13 through 18. Galatians 5, 13 through 18. And I'm going to be reading from... Uh, the authorized King James versions. You can follow me with any version of your choice. Galatians chapter 5, verse 13 to 18. Um, so I'm just giving you time to be able to open to the place so that we can go together. Now, and then I'm going to read. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh but by love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor by thyself. But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusted against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary, the one to the others. So that ye cannot do the things that ye will do. But if ye be let of the spirit, ye are not under the law. The Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Yes, so like I was saying before, you see, it's a beautiful reading and it's a beautiful portion of the scripture as well uh, 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 that links to our topic, emotional intelligence. Now, 
let me just give us this quick scenario. I, I, I think it's a life experience because the pastor that this thing occurred to him was narrating to us back then in university days. Uh, he told us that he entered a, a supermarket uh, and he was like, he saw something he wanted to buy. The price tag was on it, but he now tried to bargain it. And the lady that was selling there, the lady doesn't know who this person is. I mean, she, she treat everybody as a customer. And the lady started insulting him there and then, like, what do you think you are doing? Do you think this is where, this is a mami market that you can price on anything? It is, the price is there, and it's a supermarket, so you pay what you see there, and don't disturb me. And she was going on. And the man was angry, I mean, the pastor. And just when he was about to pour out his anger, you know, but he was start to display. That's the emotion we're talking about. His emotion was just rising up. Then just before he could open his mouth, a member of his church walked in, a lady from his church, and just said, ah, sir, well done. This and that, you know, this is a great thing. And then uh, the, lady, the, the lady was like, why are you talking to my pastor like this? So the pastor was happy that he had not <laughs> said anything yet. Hallelujah. He has not said, but he was about to, but he didn't say. So he quickly changed the inner one to smile, you know, and he was just smiling. Hey, no problem. She don't know. Leave uh, this and that, blah, blah. Calm the situation. And he went out quietly, but then he was telling us this, how God helped him in that situation because he was really getting out of hand. Like, even if it was not supposed to be priced, he needed a polite answer and not such insult. But yeah, that is what can happen. So what do you do in the public or in the, when you are under such situation under emotion, how do you control it? Because all of us do have emotion, but how do you respond to it? And that's emotional intelligence, and the Lord will help us today in the mighty name of Jesus. Our memory verse is from the book of Proverbs chapter 16, verse 32, and it says, He that is slow to hunger is better than the mighty, and he that ruled is spirit than he that taketh a city. So this is another powerful uh, text from the Bible. You know, slow to hunger. Then you are actually better than the mighty, no matter how mighty you are. Because if you are, in, if you are not slow to hunger, your hunger can lead you into trouble someday. Hunger has destroyed a lot of people's career because they couldn't control it when it came up. When things started happening, they could not control. They acted wrongly, and so... It ended their career. Some got still, you know, uh, uh, message by the law. But, I mean, it's a very de- terrible thing. And it's something that if it is happening to one, uh, you need to seek for deliverance if you cannot control it. Because, I mean, emotional intelligence is very important. You look at the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 19, down to 21. You see a lot of things there uh, that the Bible is talking about. I mean, the fruit of the Spirit are very good for our emotions. Hallelujah. So, uh, the lesson is split into two this morning, two outlines. Um, uh, but to be honest, it's a very big and massive lesson. Time will not permit us, but I'm going to go through the first uh, outline and see how we, uh, we can go on this. So for the first outline, there are three categories of emotions that we can discuss here. The first one is holy emotions. Holy emotions. And uh, these are emotions expressed by God, such as compassion, joy, jealousy, and holy indignation. These are all the characteristics of God. We know that the Bible says our God is a jealous God. You cannot be worshipping him and be worshipping another God. Just know that you are on that side. You cannot sit on the fence when you are for God, and that's where his jealousy can come in. And when you keep on sinning, that's where his indignation can come. And several times he warns the children of Israel. And when they couldn't repent, he let them into, you know, uh, suffering from their enemies. That is how he showed his Im- holy in the, uh, I mean, his own holy indignation. And Jesus also, during his holy ministry, also expressed some kind of emotion. Um, well, there are texts for all of this, but time will not permit me to be reading all of them or to even read them out, but I believe that you can have a look at the uh, lesson to be able to refer to them later. So, Jesus, you know, when he entered Jerusalem, uh, he entered the, the synagogue. He saw that people were buying and selling on the temple. And he said, my house, my father's house shall be called a house of prayers, but he have made it a dance of robbers. And he overturned their table, you know. He was acting out of emotion now that time. That was Jesus because he wasn't happy with what is happening. Now, holy, holy emotion also accompany a believer's life in spirit, in terms of praise, worship, and adoration. Yeah? When you are led by the Spirit and you are in worship, 
You can also experience uh, some kind of uh, holy blessing that we have discussed. That's why the fact that we said is uh, 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 they are attributable to God. But we, under, the, uh, under the leadership of the Holy Spirit, you can also experience God's holy, ble- uh, uh, holy emotions. And that is why uh, in the text we read, it says, walk in the Spirit so that you not fulfill the desire of the flesh. Say, if you live in the Spirit, also walk in the Spirit. Amen. And, uh, yeah, so that was the first category of holy emotion. And this is coming under the first outline, which is uh, talking about classification of emotions. Now, the second kind of emotion is human emotions. Hallelujah. Human emotion, and we all have this. Now, these are based on our human nature and situation. Our Savior and Lord Jesus you know, Christ expressed some natural human emotions during his time on earth, uh, according to John 11, 35, when he wept. Most of us sometimes, maybe ladies, and not actually ladies, I mean, for most people, they may express their emotion through tears, you know. When tears start pouring, uh, running down their cheek, sometimes uncontrollably, whether it's a tear of joy or tears of sorrow, it is still a kind of emotion. And Jesus Christ wept. In John 11, 35, when he saw the death of Lazarus, you know, when they told him and all that had happened. Even though he was still going to go and rescue, you know, uh, bring him back to life, but he expressed that emotion. That was Jesus. So these are emo- human emotions, and yeah, there are quite a lot under it, but let me just stop there so that you don't miss out on the rest. Then the third one is the fleshly emotions, and these are toxic, poisonous, and destructive emotions, such as on term, hunger, malice, envy, selfish ambition, carnality, bitterness, lust, hatred, pride, stubbornness, rebellion, and etc. Yeah, a list of them is found in Galatians 5, 19 to 21, where the Bible lists the, uh, the fruit of the flesh. So these are all fleshly emotions. And like I said, how you respond to this is very important. So human emotion is natural. There's holy emotion we can also exhibit and we can also experience when we are in worship and in praise, carried away by God. You've seen people worshiping and pouring out their tears, you know, maybe rolling on the floor, several things happening and going on. When they recount on the blessings of God upon their life, uh, they're expressing their own holy emotion as well as human being. Then the human emotion is there we have talked about. And now the third one is fleshly emotion, which is toxic. And the Bible refers to them as the fruit of the flesh, actually. And it's something that we should get rid of in our life. Their, you know, their outcome is a spiritual death, according to Romans 8, verse 6, and Galatians 5, 21. Because if, if you express this kind of emotions, the fleshly emotions, then your outcome is uh, 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 totally going to be dead. And um, it is not a good thing. That's why I said in this kind of situation, we need to seek for deliverance. We need to seek for spiritual help. Um, no, a fleshly emotion constitutes what Apostle Paul called the old man. Very important. And if you are reading the epistle, you will see Pastor Paul, the past, uh, Apostle Paul, not Apostle Paul now, Apostle Paul talking about dealing with the old man, killing the old man, burying the old man, and the rest of it. Uh, the Lord will help us to overcome the old man, if it is still in us, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, quickly, we will uh, highlight the lesson two. The outline two. The, uh, the first one was classification of emotions. The second part now is about managing your emotions, which is very important. And so it is really good that you manage your emotion. Emotional intelligence, this is where it comes to play. It helps us in everything we do. How we respond in the public. Even as a Christian, I remember back in those days in the university, because we, I went to a boarding school and uh, we live in a room, you know, just simple room, we can be up to eight or even more in the room sometime. Officially, you're supposed to be eight, but some people will bring their relative in, and it's allowed. So we can end up being 14 in the room. So in that room, there's a mix of believers and unbelievers that are born again and not born again children of God. So if you are a born again child of God, people will always want to test your emotion. Whatever you have belongs to everybody. Meanwhile, you cannot even touch anybody's property. Your food, your, your shoes, your... Uh, yeah, utensils, whatever, belongs to everybody. It's possible that you want, you, you, you're waking up in the morning for a lecture and you are not able to go because maybe you only have one pair of shoes and somebody has taken it out. <laughs> Amen. And then how you react to this kind of things is very important. Even when you want to talk, they say, ah, brother, <laughs> brother Julius. 
Is that you are going to take it? So this kind of thing happens. So what we're trying to say is that emotional intelligence is needed in our lives today, in the workplace, in the church, in the society, everywhere we are, so that things don't go wrong. Hallelujah. There's so much more that you can go and look at it yourself. I pray that the Lord has blessed us this morning in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We worship and bless your holy name. We pray that you give us your spirit to help us control our emotions anywhere we go. Emotional intelligence is what we need in our life and everything we do. Thank you, righteous Father, for answered prayer. Jesus' mighty name we pray. And amen.